eventually we have to look at AI from a realistic perspective. It is coming whether we like it or not. And they are actually pushing it more than what um, we've been believing. So, there's good and there's bad that comes with AI. Right? A lot of times, the creation is only a reflection of its creator. A lot of people who invest and create AI, let's just be honest, they're doing it for profit. You know, they're doing it for power, control, and profit. I'm not so much against AI. I feel like there's a lot of benefits that could come from it positively if the creators weren't so anti-nature. Our waters need to be fixed. We have a lot of trash and a lot of things that need to be dealt with that's been avoided for a very long time and I strongly believe AI could help us in that aspect. But. What is it going to take? Who is it going to take? Do we have the proper people in place right now for the job? That is the question I am raising for you guys today. Danny. Eventually, we all have to come to the understanding that we need each other to survive. No one thing can survive without the other. Humans can't survive without plants. Plants can't survive without humans. Animals can't survive without humans and plants. All living things need each other to survive. And the more we depend on each other, the more likely our chances of survival will be. The more likely we're able to save this planet and the more likely we're all able to thrive as a working unit here on Earth. But do they really want that? My guess is no. Read your Bibles, people. Do they actually want to use AI to make the world a better place? That is the question. 